Now, Raheem, the other way to look at this, Minnesota. Minnesota's been dying to get out of that Towns contract for a while. Randall, they can let walk at the end of the year, but when you have Anthony Edwards on your team, you're thinking every year is a championship window. After all, they were in the Western Conference Finals a year ago. Their bench is better. Randall swapped in for Towns. I'll ask you the same question I asked you with the Knicks. You like the T-Wolves more, less, or about the same? This is tough for me because I don't like the idea that the Minnesota Timberwolves had probably one of the best seasons we've seen from them in the last 30 years. I mean, you pretty much have to go back to 2004 when Kevin Garnett won the MVP and took them to the Western Conference Finals to find a season that the Minnesota Timberwolves had and to blow it up like this in order to save salary. I find it a little bit depressing. Um, unfortunately, I'm not a Minnesota Timberwolves fan, but I would be angry at this move, um, personally. I think, you know, Carl Anthony Towns, he was starting to work himself into, you know, a role, and I think he was playing well. I mean, now he has some, you know, stinkers in the postseason, but I think you got to let this team run it back. Now, the one thing I will say is that Nas Reed and his play last year has made Carl Anthony Towns expendable so they felt like they could save some money by getting rid of him while keeping his production and Julius Randle comes off the books so you know all the issues with the new CBA and the new second Abram and, and all, all the all the tax stuff so I can understand why they made the move but I, I just don't think you get rid of a talent like Carl Anthony Towns when you had that season yeah dream just used the word uh blow up and I, I I'm not sure that I agree with that characterization of this the one big question is chemistry experiment wise we saw minnesota uh with the ability to present a ferocious defensive front and that ferocious defense now has taken two hits both kyle anderson is is gone and uh and cat is gone now nobody says that cat <laughs> then nobody makes the mistake of thinking of cat as a defensive wizard but for the purposes of the chemistry of last season's version of Minnesota he knew his role he they figured out his role it made sense they for sure uh shut down the Denver Nuggets and that was their goal and intention um I think that they are still in fine shape because I think they are the deepest team in the West now by virtue of, of this trade. And I do think that, you know, it puts a lot of pressure on, on Nas Reed. We're probably going to see 26 to 32 minutes out of Nas Reed. It could be the case. I mean, that's a bump up from like the 24 minutes or so that he got the, 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 the previous season. Um, but the versatility of, of what Julius Randle brings to the table offensively should translate into taking some pressure off of Anthony Edwards, should translate into especially second unit versatility. Holy cow, Julius Randle going up against second units. And then to me, the crucial thing, and JJ, I understand why your heart hurts, DDV, DiVincenzo, as the backup to Mike Conley is enormous. It's humongous. I can't overstate how important that addition is to to the uh, to this team and what their um, options are on the offensive end come playoff time. So I think it's a a, a, a win win for both teams, JJ. Yeah, the, the, and listen, House, I got a, I got a question. No, so do you oh, think ahead. House? Do you think Minnesota wins fifty six games again? Yes. Yes, I do. I do think that. And I that's do. because of depth and the Anthony Edwards factor more than anything else. Yes. Yes. That is exactly what I think. Here's a concern I have for them, Raheem. The idea of Gobert playing alongside Randall. That, to me, is something that I think could be a little problematic. Now, Towns, to his credit, found a way to make it work. Played on the outside. Obviously, he's a 40% three-point shooter. I'm wondering with that fit with Gobert and Randall, and again, it doesn't have to be long-term because they could easily let Randall walk at the end of the year. That, to me, could be a little clunky from a Timberwolves standpoint. Yeah, but if there's anybody who can figure it out, it's Chris Finch. I, I think he's one of the best head coaches in the league. He figured it out. I mean, it was a little clunky that first year with Gobert. The next year, they're in the Western Conference Finals. So I have faith in Chris Finch and that coaching staff. And you got to remember, Julius is an expiring contract. So if it doesn't work, they can get rid of him at the deadline. Easily could be moved for a piece in January or February that kind of suits exactly what they need. Excellent, excellent point. So how's your on record win-win? I'm going to say slight edge to the Knicks because I know what I'm getting going into the year where I don't. 
think I know what I'm getting with Minnesota. And I I know some of the townspeople are going to say, JJ, you worried about his makeup. You worried about whether or not he can handle New York. Yes, that's a part of the calculus. But nobody knows him better than his former agent, Leon Rose. And Tom Thibodeau also had him. And for Thibodeau to sign off on the idea of bringing him back, Raheem, I like that that much more. Because you know Tibbs. You got to be wired a certain way to play for him. If Tibbs was like, this dude can't play for me, this deal doesn't go down. You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah, go down. That was definitely a concern because, you know, Carl Anthony Towns does not seem like a Thibs guy. I mean, they seem like polar opposites. So um, we're going to see how that turns out. Well, listen, it's great for us because to me, it's the number one move that was made in this NBA offseason. And now it kind of gives the early season intrigue to how the Knicks are going to look, who a feel-good story in the league the last two years, how Minnesota's going to look after their big-time season from a year ago. So you like the idea of some of those October-November games being a little bit under the microscope.